uh, this is a, one of, you know, the, they say the highly anticipated uh, spinoff. I love that you're not calling it, it's not being called a reboot. It's being called a sequel, you know what I mean? And, but also it's something that stands on its own. Hillary, tell me, were you a fan of the OG? Like, did yeah. you love it? Were you like, oh, I, if they ever do something, I want to be a part of it. You know what? Honestly, no, not that much. But like, I was a fan of the show. And then when I, I went on tour when the show was coming out and this was like before you could watch whatever you wanted on TV whenever you wanted. Mm -hmm. So I missed, I missed a lot, but it was kind of on always in the background of always. my life. Like super familiar with all the characters. Yep. And so when I got the call, I was like, uh, I'm like, I've been down the reboot lane before. I'm not sure if it's a thing for me. Um, but it, it, it did, you know, talking to Isaac and Elizabeth, and reading the script, I was like, uh, I'm in, I am Sophie, I'm, I'm ready, like, I get it, I, you know, and, and the way they set it up where, like, they, they, they handle it right off the bat, which I love, is, like, you realize at the end of the episode, Sid and Jesse happen to be the new occupant, occupants of this apartment that has so much history and then it and then we get to dive into these characters that are nothing like the originals mm -hmm. you know but it's a, a story about friendship finding love finding friendship you know and finding yourself and that's I think what you know kind of what the show is about really it's not a, it's not about you know trying to be something like those those are borrowed borrowed pieces and we do borrow but like not really so much yeah, I think also what's so we special. don't want to mess with them. We're too scared. Yeah, They're yeah, too good. I want to yeah, yeah, yeah. touch those guys. That, that, yeah, that's yeah. its own thing. I think what the writers do really brilliantly, like like Hillary was saying at the beginning, is they they establish that yes, we are uh, living in a similar world as the original, but they also establish that we're going to do things a little bit differently. So it's not we're not seeing kids in a disembodied voice telling us the story of how I met you know your parent. We're seeing Kim Cattrall in the future. And it's like, okay, this is a little bit different. The episode doesn't yeah. end with them saying, and that's the night I met your aunt, ha ha ha. It's like, no, that's the night I met your father. So we yeah. know that that person is in uh, there. I think Isaac and Elizabeth did a great way of allowing the super fans of the show to yeah. see where the form influenced our show, mm -hmm. but also informing all of us that we are going on a very new, very different, very kind of updated Listen, uh, adventure. You don't. You don't bring Kim Cattrall on <laughs> to do the same old thing. I mean, <laughs> let's just keep it all the way 100. Yes. But what I what I do love, you know, that this it, it it was a it was like a pit, like a like a weight on um uh on my body on my shoulders when we got the word that Bob Saget had passed mm -hmm. very suddenly, yeah. very quickly, yeah. as he was, you know, the 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 voice. Um, in, in the OG, I'm curious how there might be, or if there are plans to honor him, remember him, you know, Kim Cattrall now being that kind of new voice. Um, but I'm curious if, if there had been plans or do you know of any, um, you know, those kind of Easter egg moments? Yeah. Um, we haven't heard about anything like that. Yeah. Um, and they really do keep us in the dark a lot because I think they know that news would spread like wildfire between us, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so, you know, we don't know who the dad is. We don't know like certain things, but um, you know, the, his passing is, is devastating and, and so sad and abrupt. And, and I think all of us, I think he is special to literally everyone from full house on. Um, so, you know, that, that's really sad, but we haven't heard, we didn't, know of like plans to have him joining our cast or anything like that so i'm sure it would be really special to find a way to you know pay a remembrance or homage to him in some way yeah. um but listen right now we're we're like waiting to hear about season two so yes yeah. <laughs> i'm gonna be i'm coming straight to you i feel like we season two announcements coming any any day because <laughs> You know, the, the, the thing that I was saying to some of your other cast members, Francia in particular, was that we find ourselves now in this in this place where we're, our awareness is expanding and we know that we've got to do things a little bit differently than we've done them before. A lot so, differently. Uh, yeah. Uh, hello, hello, <laughs> hello. But to, to include more people in, at the table, to, to tell more stories, more perspectives, mm -hmm. um, including more hues. Tian, tell me when, when you decided I think, I think I got this, you know what I mean? Ellen, <laughs> we cool. Uh, what does it mean to you to be added to this cast, this effort? 
I mean, it's just an exciting time to be telling these stories like this. And I think what's so wonderful about our cast is that it genuinely reflects what I think all of us are experiencing in our real lives, in this real world that we're living in. Mm -hmm. And, you know, as someone who ha has, you know, it, I'm trying to like, as someone who's queer, I, I really am so excited to get to play a queer character who is goofy as hell. And yeah. is just like one of the friends. Well, I um, think what's nice, and you were kind of touching on this before, is like the story of Ellen in this show isn't her coming out story. Yeah. It, she exactly. is who she is, and she's here, and she's accepted and loved, and she just is just the way Sophie is and Jesse is. And, yeah. and, and that not is- And wrapped up in this trying to justify or explain yeah. or yeah. reason. Yeah, like her, there's, there's no trauma associated with her identity. And awesome. I think that's so refreshing and so cool. And also just like what life is like for a lot of people. What you know? everybody's think, friend circle actually yeah. looks like these days, you know? Yeah. What a lot of people's friend circles looks like and what we're hoping more and more people's friend circles look mm -hmm. like. You know, mm -hmm. it's funny, it's funny we talked we were we were just talking about Bob Saget and the the, the kind of icon status he reached with Full House. It's so funny because Hillary, you have been full on icon status for quite some time. I was talking to Francie about how she embarrassed herself the first time that y'all met. <laughs> but did she tell you? I she asked me if I lost my mucus plug. Yes. I was like, ah. but it's it's it is it's cool to me. It's cool to me to hear other stories. Or Dan's like, what's a mucus plug? Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll explain like, later, brother. Like, yeah. We'll explain later. But uh, it's it's cool to me to, to to know other stories, even like Miley talking about, you know, Hillary Duff gave her the um, the gumption to do Hannah Montana. You know, I'm curious what you what you're hoping, you know, did you even know that you oh, had Oh God, that no, of... I still don't know. <laughs> really? No, I mean, I know because Tien tells me like. <laughs> 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 She's my hype girl, Francie is my hype girl. Um, you know, I, of course I am aware, but I'm, no, I'm, I'm, an, I'm a working actor and I, you know, what I'm, I am as good as my last job. And I, I very much like feel that like everyone else. And I feel incredibly grateful for, for Lizzie McGuire and my, my whole career path since, and that I'm a semi normal functioning human being. Um, yeah. You know, I, 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 the fact that so many people give me credit, I try to accept it, but it still feels strange. And, you know, I'm, I'm, I sit and I'm like, not the cool person at the party in my brain. So, um, Listen, I, you, you are definitely the cool person at my party. And as soon as you break out that with love choreo, <laughs> as soon as you, tell me y'all saw it, please tell me oh, you yes. saw, oh, everyone saw it. <laughs> it's like, oh, oh, yes. Everyone can see everything that I've ever done. <laughs> they sure can. And I see it over and over again. I love, I love. I'm going to end on this. Hillary, I, you are a proud mom of three. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm curious to know from you how you might be viewing the shift that happened in your life, that who you are, who you're becoming, as you also include mom or have included mom as a part of your identity. Oh gosh. I'm so grateful that I, I get to be a mom and I get to watch these children grow and they're so special each in their own individual way. And I'm doing my best to guide them, but really to, they have breathed new life. Obviously I've lived a f pretty full life already in my 34 years and to get to watch what they're doing is the most exciting thing in my life by far. Um, the little moments, the big moments, um, <laughs> the most casual of moments that I have to call my mom to tell her happened. You know, the other day I'm at Luca soccer and I hear a little girl go up to him and he's like hanging with a group and she's all, my friend thought you were 11. And I was like, <laughs> he's fine, he's fine. how am I here in this part of my life what's happening like it's just <laughs> wild it's just such an adventure and I'm so grateful that, that that those little weirdos are mine and um and you know I'm finally at 34 like so getting more and more comfortable like mm -hmm. being able to say no and knowing that that was the right choice and making a mistake and being like yep I 
that one up. Like, you know, it just yeah. happens. And it's just, it's, there's an ease that I feel coming that just, it just feels so much better than a couple years ago. <laughs> Listen, the, the it, true story there. Listen, it's been a pleasure. I have so enjoyed this. Tian, it's a pleasure to meet you. Chris, also a pleasure to meet you. you. Hillary, always good to see you. God, I don't know if you know this, you. but you were like my third interview for Access Hollywood. <laughs> I know, I know we've done it a few times. Yeah. Indeed. Yeah. Thank you, Scott. Thanks so good. much, man.